Hello students, in this video we learn about Rodrick's formula. The legendary polynomial of order n is given by pn of x equal to 1 divided by 2 to the power n into n factorial multiplied by nth derivative with respect to x of x square minus 1 to the power n. This formula is known as Roderick's formula. That is, I repeat, Roderick's formula is pn of x equal to 1 by 2 to the power n into n factorial nth derivative with respect to x of x square minus 1 to the power n. Now, we shall work out the problems based on this formula. The first problem is obtained legendary polynomial function p naught x comma p one x comma p two of x p three of x and p four of x, which is very easy to find. We have Roderick's formula p n of x equal to one divided by two to the power n into n factorial nth derivative with respect to x of x square minus one to the power n we have call this as 1 now dear students first we have to get p naught of x to get p naught of x from p n of x we put n as equal to 0 in equation 1 so when you put n as 0 we get p naught of x as equal to here if you substitute n as 0 you will get 1 so p naught of x is 1 now we have to get p1 of x so put n is equal to 1 in this equation so left hand side is p1 of x right hand side 1 by 2 to the power 1 is 1 2 1 factorial is 1 so it is 1 by 2 so n is 1 so it is d by dx of x square minus 1 so it is 1 by 2 times derivative of x square minus 1 is 2x 2 and 2 cancels so p1 of x is x you need to remember the expressions now put n equal to 2 so we get 1 by 2 square into 2 factorial which is 2 d square by dx square of x square minus 1 whole square so it is equal to 1 by 4 into 2 or 2 factorial d square by dx square of that is second derivative with respect to x of x square minus 1 whole square is x power 4 plus 1 minus 2x square so p2 of x is equal to 1 by 4 into 2 is 8 1 by 8 I will take first derivative, I will write this as d square by dx square as d by dx of again one more d by dx of this thing is written here that is derivative of x power 4 is 4x cube derivative of 1 is 0 derivative of minus 2x square is 4x so it is equal to 1 by 8 times again if you take derivative of this one it will be 12x square minus 4 so when you simplify 12 by 8 is 3 by 2 into x square minus 4 by 8 is 1 by 2. So thus p2 of x is equal to 1 by 2 times 3x square minus 1. Now to get p3 of x put n equal to 3 in equation 1. So p3 of x is equal to 1 by 2 to the power 3 into 3 factorial d cube by dx cube of x square minus 1 to the power 3 so first we write it is equal to 1 by 2 to the power 3 is 8 3 factorial is 6 d cube by dx cube of now we will expand this expression x square minus 1 to the power 3 which comes out to be x power 6 minus 1 
minus 3x power 4 plus 3x square by using the formula a minus b whole cube. So 8 into 6 is 48. So it will be 1 by 48 times. I will now take the derivative. So we can write this as d cube by dx cube as d square by dx square of. I will take the derivative of this 6x cube minus 12x square plus 6x. Now we have to take two more derivatives of this equation with respect to x. So it is 1 by 48 times d by dx of derivative of this one is 30x power 4 derivative of 12x cube is 36x square derivative of 6x is 6. Now again we need to take one more time the derivative of this one. Derivative of 30x power 4 is 120x cube. Derivative of 36x square is 72x. So when you simplify this 120 by 48 is equivalent to 5 by 2x cube. 72 by 48x. 48 into x is equivalent to 3 by 2x. So thus p3 of x is 1 by 2 times 5x cube minus 3x now to get p4 of x put n equal to 4 so p4 of x equal to 1 by 4 factorial into 2 to the power 4 fourth derivative with respect to x of x square minus 1 to the power 4 so 1 by 4 factorial 4 factorial is 24 2 to the power 4 is 16 so 24 into 16 comes out to be 384. Now the fourth derivative with respect to x of x square minus 1 to the power 4 can be written as x square minus 1 whole square into x square minus 1 whole square. You expand and simplify. What we get is p4 of x after simplification and taking derivatives is 1 by 8 times 35x power 4 minus 30x square plus 3 you can try this one so you need to remember all the expressions that is p naught of x which is 1 p1 of x which is x p2 of x that is this one 1 by 2 times 3x square minus 1 p3 of x is 1 by 2 times 5x cube minus 3x and p4 of x this one 1 by 8 times 35x power 4 minus 30x square plus 3. Now second problem express the polynomial 2x cube minus x square minus 3x plus 2 in terms of legendary polynomials it is very easy to express first we take given expression as f of x so f of x is 2x cube minus x square minus 3x plus 2 now here we need to find what is x cube x square and x so we have p naught of x is 1 and p1 of x is x now p2 of x we know that it is 1 by 2 times 3x square minus 1. Now from this expression what I want is expression for x square. So 2p2 of x is equal to 3x square minus 1. So from this x square is 1 by 3 times 2p2 of x plus 1. So x square is 1 by 3 times 2 into p2 of x. Now what is 1? 1 is nothing but p0 of x. So now we have expressed x square in terms of p's. x square is 1 by 3 times 2 p2 of x plus p0 of x. Now similarly since my x given problem needs x cube also. I need to find the expression for x cube. 
I have already P3 of x is equal to 1 by 2 times 5x cube minus 3x. So it is 2P3 x is equal to 2P3 of x equal to 5x cube minus 3x. So x cube is equal to 1 by 5 times 2P3 of x plus 3x. So x cube is 1 by 5 times 2P3 of x plus 3 into no, what is x? x is nothing, nothing but p1 of x. So with these expressions, that is 1x, x square, x cube, I will substitute these expressions in equation 1. So it will be 2 times x cube x cube is nothing but 1 by 5 times 2p3 of x plus 3p1 of x minus minus x square for minus x square the expression is 1 by 3 times 2p2 of x plus p0 of x minus for 3x we substitute write it as 3 p1 of x because x is p1 of x plus constant that is 2. 2 can be written as 2 into p0 of x because p0 of x is 1. Now we need, we need to simplify. Multiply 2 into 2, 4 by 5 p3 of x. Then write p2 of x terms. Only one term is there. So it is 2 by 3 p2 of x, then p1 of x, so p1 of x, there are two terms of p1 of x, so I will write p1 of x as common. If I take p1 of x as common, then the remaining terms are, you can observe, 2 into 3, 6 by 5, 6 by 5, and one more p1 of x, minus 3, again, plus p0 of x, we have two p0 of x terms. If I take p0 of x as common, then it is minus 1 by 3 plus 2. So on simplification, what we get is f of x equal to 4 by 5 p3 of x minus 2 by 3 p2 of x. And we know that 6 by 5 minus 3 minus 9 by 5 into p1 of x minus 1 by 3 plus 2 that is my plus 5 by 3 p naught of x. So this is how we have to express f of x in terms of legendary polynomials. Now the next problem, third one, if f of x equal to x cube plus 2x square minus x plus 1 which is also equal to a into p0 of x plus b into p1 of x plus c into p2 of x plus d into p3 of x. Then we have to find a, b, c and d. The same procedure we have to follow. First write f of x. f of x is x cube plus 2x square minus x plus 1. Call this as equation 1. Now we know that p0 of x is 1, p1 of x is x and x square, we need to remember the expression for 1x, x square, x cube, x power 4 at least. So x square is 1 by 3 times 2p2 of x plus p0 of x, x cube is 1 by 5 times 2p3 of x plus 3p1 of x. So equation 1 implies f of x equal to substitute x cube is 1 by 5 times 2p3 of x plus 3p1 of x plus 2x square 2 into x square is this one 1 by 3 times 2p2 of x plus p0 of x minus x that is p1 of x plus 1 which is p0 of x. Now we simplify that is 2 by 5 p3 of x, only one p3 of x is there, only one p2 of x term is also there, so it is 4 by 3 p2 of x. Now p1 of x, there are two terms of p1 of x, so I will take p1 of x as common, 
so it is 3 by 5 minus 1 plus there are two terms of p naught of x is also there so p naught of x into 2 by 3 plus 1 so on simplification what we get is 2 by 5 p 3 of x plus 4 by 3 p 2 of x 3 by 5 minus 1 is minus 2 by 5 p 1 of x plus 5 by 3 p naught of x is 2 by 3 plus 1 now this f of x is also equal to a into p naught of x plus b into p1 of x plus c into p2 of x plus d into p3 of x now if you compare these two equations carefully we will get the values of a b c d now for example to get the value of a i should no, what is the coefficient of p naught of x? So, what is the coefficient of p naught of x? It is 5 by 3. So, a value is 5 by 3. Now, to get the value of b, I should know the coefficient of p1 of x. So, what is the coefficient of p1 of x? Minus 2 by 5. To get c, coefficient of p2 of x, we have to look. So, Coefficient of P2 of X is 4 by 3. Coefficient of P3 of X which is 2 by 5 which is D. So ABCD values are respectively 5 by 3 minus 2 by 5, 4 by 3 and 2 by 5. Now one note which is very important. We have P4 of x, we already know this expression. P4 of x is 1 by 8 times 35x power 4 minus 30x square plus 3. Now I need to find the expression for x power 4. So 8p4 of x is 35x power 4 minus 30x square plus 3. So x power 4 is 1 by 35 times 8p4 of x plus 30x square minus 3. So it is 1 by 35 times 8p4 of x plus 30 times what is x square it is 1 by 3 times 2p2 of x plus p0 of x minus 3 this can be written as 3 into p0 of x. So on simplification what we get is 1 by 35 times 8p4 of x 30 divided by 3 is 10 10 into 2 is 20p2 of x. Then 10 p naught of x minus 3 p naught of x is 7 p naught of x. So students you have to remember this x power 4 which is 1 by 35 times 8 p 4 of x plus 20 p 2 of x plus 7 p naught of x.